Dayton businessman Larry Connor is still hanging out at the International Space Station. He and the Axiom Space Mission team are waiting to hear when they can come back to work. Uh, Earth, I should say. They've been doing a lot of work up there meantime. This is the first ever private crew to go to the ISS. Mr. O Mr. Connor's there the, on the left on that still picture. They were supposed to undock last night and splash down in the Atlantic this afternoon, but bad weather in Florida keeps delaying that. I want to bring in Chief Meteorologist McCall Vrydags. She's tracking the weather in Florida. You're talking earlier in one of our afternoon meetings about kind of the rough water doesn't make it for a very good landing. Yeah, that's right. It's not necessarily the fact that it's stormy down near Florida, but the fact that they are dealing with some gusty winds, and I don't see the winds dying down anytime soon. NASA did release a statement over on Twitter talking about the fact that the weather has been not favorable for the splashdown of that mission. So they're going to keep an eye on weather conditions, not only heading into tonight, but the next few days. And by the way, there's another launch that's set to take off on Saturday. If we do not get the Axiom to come back to Earth before then, they cannot send that secondary mission up because they need to dock on the same place on the space station. So some of the things that they look at as to whether or not they can have a safe a splashdown is, is there any precipitation? You need less than a 25% chance for some rain, lightning, you don't want any lightning in and around where that splashdown site will be. Both of those are fine at this point in time. It's the fact that there are gusty winds and that's creating a very high wave height. In fact, winds are gusting up close to 30 miles per hour right now. There is a small craft advisory all around the state of Florida. So there can't be a splashdown in the Atlantic or in the Gulf with seas five to seven feet. And I was looking at the long range projection. It doesn't look like those winds will calm down until Tuesday. We'll see see if that happens and of course we'll have updates here on channel 7 and on whio.com